Commerce Alive Today presents The Altman and Company. The store that would become the Altman and Company began on Manhattan's Lower East Side as a family-owned store, which by 1865 had come to be solely owned by Benjamin Altman, one of the brothers in the family, and was located at 3rd Avenue and 10th Street. In 1877, the store, wanting to expand, relocated to 621 6th Avenue between 18th and 19th Streets. The building was put up in four stages, and was designed by David and John Jardine the original building, 1876-77, and the 1880 extension, William Hume and Buckman and Fox. By 1906, though, Altman's had moved to its new block Long B. Altman and Company building running from 34th to 35th Streets, which was expanded in stages through 1913 to 188 to 89 Madison Avenue. The original 5th Avenue building and the extensions were all designed by Trowbridge and Livingston in Italian Renaissance style. Altman's was the first big department store to make the move from the Ladies Mile Shopping District, where the Dry Goods Emporia had been located, to 5th Avenue. That neighborhood was still almost entirely residential at the time, and the design of the new building, across the street from the grand residence of department store rival A.T. Stewart's and diagonally across the avenue from the residence of Mrs. Astor, was planned to fit in with these palatial mansions around it. Following Altman's example, other big stores made the move uptown, such as Lord & Taylor, which moved to another Fifth Avenue building in 1914. In the 1930s, B. Altman & Company was one of the first American department stores to open out-of-town branches early entries in the suburbs, with branches opening in East Orange later relocated to Short Hills, White Plains, in Manhasset. The foresight of the organization and geographical selection can be seen in that the Short Hills location is now the mall at Short Hills, the White Plains location is now the Westchester Shopping Mall, and the Manhasset location is adjacent to the Americana Manhasset, which opened nine years after the Altman store. When Benjamin Altman died in 1913 at the age of 73, his stock in the stores was placed into the Altman Foundation. Altman's art collection, which included many Rembrandts, went to New York City's Metropolitan Museum of Art. In 1986, due to changing IRS rulings, the foundation sold the stores to an investor group that included members of the Gucci family and two principals from financial firm Deloitte & Touche. The store had a reputation for gentility and conservatism. It was regarded as similar to Marshall Field & Company in Chicago. Highlighting its sober reputation, the stores included a satellite location of Colonial Williamsburg's Craft House that sold classic colonial reproductions. Two lost treasures from the store are the famous Christmas windows, which rivaled those in the Lord & Taylor building, a few blocks up Fifth Avenue, as well as the Charleston Gardens restaurant, which housed a full-size facade of a terror-like Charleston home. The St. David's location and the other branch stores also had a Charleston Garden restaurant. Altman's eventually opened more out-of-town branch locations in Pennsylvania and St. David's in 1965 and Willow Grove in 1983, New Jersey and Short Hills in 1958 replacing an earlier nearby East Orange store and Ridgewood slash Paramus in 1967. A short-lived location at the Forest Fair Mall in Cincinnati, Ohio, opened during the L.J. Hooker ownership period from 1987 to 1989, and two mall locations in Buffalo and Syracuse, New York, were physically completed but never occupied by Altman's during that same time. In 1987, Australian real estate development company L.J. Hooker and its chief executive officer, George Herscu, purchased the controlling interest in the B. Altman stores as well as Bonwit Teller, Sokovitz and the majority of Parisian. Hooker used these chains as anchors in poorly located, yet extravagant, new shopping centers across the country. With Hooker and her school knowing virtually nothing about how to operate these various retail chains, and then placing them in locations with no regard for market recognition or demographics, their strategy failed miserably, and in August 1989 B. Altman filed for bankruptcy, with the last store closing in 1990. The suburban Buffalo location at the huge Walden Galleria complex was, in fact, fully completed and fixtured but never occupied by Altman's. It would later be occupied in 1991 by local department store AM&As and eventually Abonton, which vacated in 2006. This never opened Altman's location was demolished for a new cinema complex and mall expansion. The Carousel Center Mall location in Syracuse was under construction at the time and redesigned to house a succession of several discount anchors, one on each of the two floors. The Altman has now faded the American landscape forever. 
B. Offman, Bonwood Teller, and Sackowitz Stores' total liquidation going out of business sale at Forest Fair Mall is in its final weeks. Everything in each store is now at or near wholesale. And now, save 40% on everything. Nothing can be held back. Everything must be sold to the bare walls. Don't wait. Save 40% on everything at B. Altman, Bonwood Teller, and Sackowitz going out of business sale before its history. All three stores in one location, Forest Fair Mall. If you have any fond memories, please indicate it at the comments below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like.